What's up, everybody? Today, we take slate coasters like this, and we turn them into something awesome like this. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. Like I said, we're going to take these cheap slate coasters that I found at Walmart. I'm talking super cheap, like two of them for like $2.14 or something like that. It was really cheap. And we're going to turn them into awesome coasters like this. Now you can use any design you want. I just really like this Game of Thrones, I drink and I know things coaster. So that's what I'm going to use for this video. The cool thing about this is you can do this on any laser. And the first thing you want to do is always test. Now I've made a couple test files in the past for my painted tiles, but the one I really like for this is actually the Nicky Norton white tile test. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. So this does just a ton of stuff. You can see it has percentages all along the bottom and speeds all along the side. And what you do is you let this go. It took about an hour on my laser. And at the end, you find which one you like the best. And that's what I did to start. I'm not gonna show that in this video because I did that ahead of time and I already knew. And I figured if I gave you the file, you could do it yourself. But all you have to do is take a piece of slate like this one right here, run the file on it and see what you get. Then once you know the speed and the percentage you're gonna use, we're gonna jump in the light burn. We're gonna grab the file I'm gonna use and we're gonna shoot it over to the laser and get it flying. So we're gonna start right there. I already know what percentage I'm gonna use based on this tile right here and I'll show you in a second. But let's jump in the light burn and let's get this project going. Here we are in light burn. I opened it up and this is what it looks like when we first go in. So the first thing I wanna do is pull in the file that I wanna use for this burn. In this case, we already know it's the I drink and I know things file. So I'm gonna come up here to the left and I'm gonna click that little import a file button. I'm gonna scroll down to my I drink and I know things coaster SVG, just like that. Now, in my case, this is much too big and we don't want to keep it that size because it won't fit on our coaster. So I did a little measuring and it turns out I have roughly about three by three. So if you click on the file like this, and it could be any file, this just happens to be an SVG file that I'm gonna use here, but it could be a picture, it could be anything. So I'm gonna click on the file like that. I'm gonna come up here to the left and, and I'm gonna find the biggest number because I know that biggest number can only be about three inches. Uh, in this case, I'm using inches. You can use millimeters too if you want, but I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna type 3.0 and hit enter. And what that does is it makes our file smaller so you can fit it on that coaster. I'm gonna drag this down uh, right in front of the camera and you'll see that in just a second, but I'm gonna drag it down to about right there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the number one layer in the bottom left here. And I'm going to come up and this is where I need to find my power and my speed that we got on that test tile. So on my test tile I looked and I really like that 3000 speed by 80% power. And that's what I'm going to use. So if, if you have it in here great. If not you can uh, double click it. It'll open up. We want to do speed 3000. Power 80%. And in this case, we want to use fill. Now, you can test how, as much as you want. Uh, try other ones. You can use a line if you just want the outline. You can do a fill plus a line if you want to. You can do a little offset fill. But I tell you what, I really think fill looks great on all, all my coasters that I've done in the past. So that's what I'm going to use in this video. I hit OK here. So at this point right here, we need to center our material to get ready for burning. I did a video on that just recently, and I'm going to post it right there if you don't know how to do this. If you do know how to do this, keep going. If you don't, go watch that real quick. It'll help you frame everything, get it nice and centered, and then we'll proceed. Okay, now that we're ready to proceed, uh, we know everything is centered. It's framed. We went through that. All we have to do uh, is hit the start button. But first, just out of curiosity, I'm going to right-click on our file. I'm going to go to preview, and this will actually tell us how long the burn is gonna take. In our case, this is only five minutes and 32 seconds. And if you wanna see a full burn, this is exactly how it's gonna play out. You can actually just play this if you want, or you can just scroll it through. So that's actually how it's gonna burn right on the slate. Now, I'm gonna jump ahead, I'm gonna hit okay. We're gonna hit start on the laser. So that's it. Did you miss it? Let's do it again. I have a second time lapse because I did it on two files. Here we go, I'm gonna hit start, boom. And bam, there you have it. That is what we just burned and it looks awesome. I tell you what, 
this is such a simple project and if you find the right burn percentage and speed you can knock these out all day long and make a killing so i just ran to walmart i grabbed a pack of two and it looks like this and usually they're in a little plastic bag right here and this was two dollars and 24 cents for two of them so you can get four of them for under five dollars and that's really cool because this is a super cheap thing to learn and you can sell these for way more money than that now a lot of people like to do different things some people put a clear coat on them and then burn them to give them a different look in this case i tried it burning it and then i put a clear coat on it just like i do with my tiles and i'll put that video right here because I wanted to see what it would look like and it really gave it a cool shine and very cool contrasting colors. So if I put this up to the camera, you can see it's really shiny and the burn really contrasts with the slate. But some people don't like that look. Some people would prefer the standard look. So it's really up to you which one you prefer. If you like the, the doll like classic slate or if you like the shiny slate like that. But honestly, it doesn't matter. It's whatever you like the best. Burn a bunch of these up throw them on your Facebook, and I promise you're going to get orders within a day or two saying, holy moly, I need those. And that's the really cool thing about these desktop lasers. They're not very expensive to get into. You can do this with any laser. It doesn't have to be the Ortur. And you can get into this and you can make money almost instantly with videos just like this and other ones out there. Well, this has been a super quick video on how to burn the coasters. You saw a little bit of time lapse. I know it didn't last long because these burns were pretty fast, but at least I threw two of them in there for you. I hope you guys learned something. If you have questions, throw them in the comments below. And as always, keep burning. What's up, everybody? I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button right here and click the little bell if you want to get notified anytime we go live on Monday night for hot mix or when I put out a great video like this. You guys rock.